Business owners, the length and breadth of the country at the minute, will have been doing an awful lot of thinking about their business, reassessing what they, how they want to operate going forward, reassessing their business model. You know, many will have moved online where they can, reassessing their team. You know, who do they, who do they feel that has really added value while we've been in lockdown? Who do they feel they have been able to do without because they were furloughed and actually they haven't missed that part of the, of the, um, of the operation? What have they enjoyed about how they've been working in lockdown? What have they hated? What many business owners have, have missed, I believe, is that their team members will have probably been doing exactly the same thing. Thinking for themselves about what they have loved about being on lockdown. You know, what have they missed? What have they missed about the team environment, the, the office environment, perhaps? But what have they loved? What have they enjoyed about quality time with their, with their family? About not having to travel to and from work? And while we as business owners may be thinking, you know, do we need all the team that we that we have? Do we need more for our future plans? Our team may actually also be thinking, do you know what? I think there is there are more important things than my particular role in this business. And you may have people come to you and knock on your door and say, I loved I loved the life I had during lockdown. I want to work remotely, maybe, or actually I want to leave because I, I want to do something completely different or I want to work closer to home. And that really, it really hit home to me the other day when a client actually told me about they'd, that they'd had exactly that conversation with somebody who decided that there was a business 300 yards down the road that that was keen to, to employ them and it meant so much it was going to mean so much to the quality of their life that they could just walk out their door and be be at work in five minutes so what it will lead to is that we are put into hiring situations that that we weren't necessarily expecting so how can we make sure that we get that right first time because you know businesses are full of people who were never right for the business uh, you know, people who take up so much of our time and energy, probably our, our partners and maybe even our friends know them by name and get sick of us talking about them. And our team are just waiting for us to sort them out. Those people who were never right for the business. So how can you avoid that? Well, for me, there are three golden rules, and that's really what this video is all about. Three golden rules for hiring to make sure that you get it right first time. The first rule, and this is the one that you're probably going to be most tempted with if you're faced with that um, situation where an, un your, an unexpected employee comes and says, I'm off. Never hire in a hurry. So never just panic hire because that's when mistakes are made. That's when mistakes are most likely to be made. When we, when we just rush out there and grab the first person that, that wants to come and work with us. Don't hire in a hurry. Take the time to, uh, to bring in an interim or a part-timer or fill the gap in some other way until you have the time and the headspace to get the right person. So don't hire in a hurry. Secondly, always 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 hire to your values and of course if you're going to hire to your values you've got to be really clear about what your values are you know what are those lines that you won't cross what is it about the way your team operate that is a, an absolute for you the things that are really close to your heart really important to you that you want others around you to share those values and then when you're in the interview situation, dig into uh, what somebody really believes in with your questioning. You know, tell me about a time when you had a clash with a clash of opinion with a colleague. How did you deal with that? 
tell me about a time when you were up against a deadline. You know, it was coming up to your time to going home, but there was still work to be done. Tell me, tell me how you, how you dealt with that. Tell me about a time when your boss, boss asked you to do something and you weren't, you felt you didn't have the skills or the confidence to do it. How did you deal with that? You know, you, you're looking for, you know, how good are they at, at communication? How, how honest are they going to be in terms of uh, what, what they can and can't do? You know, how much are they prepared to bullshit you? <laughs> You can get an awful lot with with the right questioning. You can get an awful lot from somebody beyond beyond their CV and you know beyond their rehearsed um, method acting in an, for an interview. You know we all know that there are there are people who are great interviewees. So how can you get behind behind that the the, the facade if you like? So really prepare your questions in advance, really think about them and then have that genuine conversation with the person in front of you, whether that's on Zoom or um, or face to face further further down the line. So don't hire in a hurry, hire to your values. The third golden rule is don't settle. Don't don't just accept um, that if you if you have uh, 10 interviews lined up and you interview all of them don't just take the best of the 10 unless they are the right person because you get who you settle for and if you if if they weren't absolutely right they were just the best of a bad bunch then you're setting yourself up for for that pain further down the line so those three golden rules are really important for your hiring system. And as, you know, as big a priority as hiring might be for you right now or, or in the near future, it's really important that you understand that your hiring system is only really a small part of building a great team, building a high performing team. It's only a small piece of a framework that, that we use with motivated business owners like you to free them from the day-to-day -day of their business and it's really only what I've just talked about the hiring is only actually even half of your hiring system because the other half is your probation system and for me your hiring doesn't end until your probation system has ended till you've got to that yes no answer and so many business owners um, don't use probation as, as, a, as a safety net, they don't use it well, they don't think through it effectively, they don't, they don't have a system for it. And in the next video, I want to talk you through how to make your probation system airtight and effective and make sure that it's right for you and your team member so that when you get to the end of that 90 days, that three month period for, for your probation, that you're very clear, you're both very clear whether it's a yes, welcome to the team, or actually no, I, I think it's I think it's better that that you don't join our team. I think you'll be much better off somewhere else. So please press subscribe, ding the little bell to make sure that you don't miss out on the next video, um, and let's get this whole hiring system sorted. Look forward to seeing you next in the next video. Thanks for being here.